Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Dan Lee and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the latest boat that's just come into the workshop for restoration. So this boat is a Healy 75. It's made by the Healy Car Company and this particular model has a fiberglass hull and a wooden deck and then a wooden structure inside. Uh, this boat's had a little bit of a, um, a hard life really. It was, uh, it was dropped from quite a height and landed on a concrete floor so it did a lot of damage to the bottom of the boat um, the boat was then consequently repaired as an insurance job and um, basically the entire internal structure was fiberglassed over with chopped strand and polyester and um, the resulting boat was incredibly heavy and quite a mess as well so we ended up with these huge slabs of polyester inside the boat which you can see us trying to peel away from the original um, hull skin there. So lots of these slabs of polyester would barely keyed into the original boat at all and um, certainly not bonded. So getting them out wasn't too much of a problem. They sort of parted ways as soon as we got a pry bar under uh, one corner of the, of the slab. So we just started out work by, um, by taking all of these out of the boat and trying to get back to the original skin that was inside. We also decided to pretty much cut every structural timber out of this boat. So half of that had already been done uh, before we got the boat in. So it sat for some time on its trailer with not too much structure inside it. So the bottom of this boat is a little bit out of shape and that's gonna be one of our jobs is to uh, get that back into shape again. So we decided to cut all of the rest of the timber structure out from inside the boat because pretty much all of the timber that is underneath fiberglass at the moment is rotten. So we're gonna do away with that and start from a complete um, fresh canvas. So you'll notice that there is uh, somebody else appearing in my videos now. So this is Will and uh, he's been working for, for me uh, three days a week just recently so um, it's good to have an extra pair of hands in the workshop it's certainly helping move projects along and uh, you'll probably see him appearing in the videos a little bit more going forwards so we started stripping the boat down taking all the fittings off just so that we have got a sort of clearer space to work with really and we're not going to damage any of that stuff going forwards because the boat's in really nice condition apart from its internal structure which needs quite a lot of work to get sorted out So you can see the forward frame there, that's frame number one, which we dug out from under some polyester right up uh, forward in the boat, and it's in a pretty bad shape. And another huge slab of polyester coming out here. The weight of the stuff that we took out was quite unbelievable, really. It's just, it must have made the boat so heavy, it'd been like a submarine, I would think, to drive. So really good to be doing away with that. So then once we got all the timber sections cut out of the boat, we decided to grind back nice and hard on the, the existing surface that was there. So we've got a good, clean, well-keyed surface to, to build from. So what we're gonna do is layer a new layer of glass on the inside of this boat and just rebuild some of that thickness that's been taken away from the bottom there because it's a really thin skin on this boat. So we'll be doing that in the coming weeks, putting, uh, putting some more glass back into the bottom there, but we'll be using epoxy this time, not polyester. So we'll make sure that we get a good bond to the existing skin. And then it was just a continuation of cutting bits out really. So every bit of timber that was in there that we couldn't see, we wanted to remove just to make sure. And sure enough, as you can see from the stem timber there, pretty much everything we found was rotten or on its way to being rotten. So it was a pretty nasty job. You can see me and Will there, both in Tyvek suits and masks and uh, just a couple of weeks of grinding fiberglass and cutting pieces out. That's the bit of timber up from the sort of skeg up into the stem there. And uh, you can see it's in a pretty bad shape. 
feels really damp as well. As soon as you cut the polyester off of it, you can feel the dampness in the wood. So good, good to uh, get that out, I think. And then we're just grinding the hole back. So we got a really nice finish to work from. Plenty of dust created and many hours spent itching by me and Will as well. But um, once that's out of the way, we're gonna have a nice clean canvas to start again with on the bottom of the boat. So there we go, you can see the finished hull all cleaned up, all the timber structure removed and uh, ground back nice and clean to, uh, to start the next load of work. So that's where we're up to for now on the Healy and next week we're going to be starting to get the hull back into shape where it's deformed because the structure was removed. Um, so we're going to pull the bottom back into shape, get that nice and fair again and then we'll be laying some new glass on the inside and then starting to rebuild the new internal structure off that. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll keep launching videos as we progress through the work on the Healy. So if you want to uh, keep seeing what we're doing, make sure you uh, follow the channel. Cheers guys, catch you in the next video.